Welcome to the War Hunt quarterly market update to 31 March uh, 2024. Well, Steve, it looks like markets have continued on their, their merry way. We saw a strong rally towards the end of last quarter, and particularly the last sort of couple of weeks of that last quarter. Uh, and this quarter has been really strong across the board, both in Australia and international markets. So good news all around for investors. How's the Australian market performed for the quarter and probably more importantly over the last 12 months? Yeah, well, you're absolutely right, Sam. It's been an incredibly strong quarter for markets around the world. Just look at the chart here of Australia. You can see in the quarter, it's up 5.3% for the quarter and over 14% over the 12-month period. That's a really strong return. It just seems to be going up and up and up. In fact, over March, it hit new highs several times. It's a bit of a, a, a tale of two stories, though. So if you look at the Australian market, which is heavily dominated by banks and resources, um, maybe if you explain that what's happened in those two markets or those two different sectors within the, uh, the ASX 200. Uh, to a really good point, Sam. I think it's one of the problems about having a concentrated market like Australia. There are these two sectors that dominate financials and the resource sectors or the material sector. And you can see in the chart here, first of all, the numbers, financials done really well, up 12% for the quarter and 28% over the year. But countering to that is the material sector has done really badly. It's down minus 6.2% for the quarter. Why is that? It's actually got to do mainly with iron ore. You can see in the chart we're showing uh, iron ore has come off by about 20% in the quarter, and that's because Chinese demand has just evaporated. They've still got big problems over there uh, in their property development sector, which were the biggest importers of Australian iron ore. Uh, it probably just talks to the point that we, we do raise most quarters about the importance of diversification, that if you're really you know backing the house up and betting on just banks and resources, they can really move at different points in time. So having that diverse exposure within the Australian market um, will help the portfolio and generate those returns over the long term. You know, what's happening in developed markets, both US uh, and more broadly, Asia and, uh, and Europe? Well, continuing your theme on the advantages of diversification, uh, you can see, first of all, developed markets fed extremely strong quarter and an extremely strong 12 months. And you're right, it's still led there by the US, but rather than the Magnificent Seven dominating this time around, it's actually a much broader based rally. Uh, the US has still got good returns, but it's coming from more than just that tech sector. It's coming from a lot of the other US companies that you don't tend to mm. hear about. And you can also see that other markets around the world, Europe and Japan, Japan's actually got a higher return than the US over the quarter and for the year. So we're really seeing a very broad based rally. Uh, it's probably only emerging markets that are you know, trailing there, Sam. Yes, and that's largely off the back of, of China and the issues that they've been facing. It is, same thing with our resources. Uh, China makes up about 33% of the emerging markets index. So they've had a, 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 a negative 14% over 12 months in China, the only major market to really have negative return. Yep. So probably the, the key themes are that very strong return for the quarter in equity markets, but also a very strong uh, return uh, for the last 12 months as well within portfolios, which has certainly um, been terrific for performance. So St Steve, I like to pose the question each quarter, what does the future hold for, for equities? Uh, great question, Sam. Well, look, in a way, it's all blue skies. You know, markets keep hitting new peaks every day. As I mentioned before, around the world, unemployment's low, growth is good, interest rates are going to start coming down. What can possibly go wrong? And, and of course, without predicting the future, it's, this is very much the conditions when something that the market doesn't see can happen. So we don't expect these rallies to keep running forever. Right. And I think we've spoken about it in the past. There's no such thing as a, a an average return when you're looking at, at markets. They, they're either up or they're down. There's no kind of anything that falls within the average range, generally over a 10 or 20 year period. So ups and downs, ups and downs. And that's what we're experiencing at the moment, which is positive territory. But Positive territory. We need to enjoy the wins. We're not enjoy the wins. It will come off at some stage. Well, thank you for joining uh, this quarterly market update for 31 March 2024. And we look forward to catching up with you next quarter.